Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary blind playthrough of Phoenix Point. We are, I think, in the mid game, I would say at least. Uh, so we got three teams going and this is our third team, uh, uh, which is deployed in the frozen circuit based kind of in northern Russia. And we're going to see how a couple of rookies take on the Pandorans in an effort to hopefully gather some reinforcement materials. Not everybody <clears throat> has armor or good weapons, but that's okay. Maybe we're stealing some. All right, we landed. Let's take a look. A couple of crates over here. Oh boy, we got the poison throwers. And there is another crate down here, so I would say this is a matter of realistic expectation Ready, management. And the realistic expectation management here Taking is action. go for three crates and get the hell out of here. These here are good. Uh, of course, but we have enough of those. Neuro pistol. Yeah, we can take that. Okay, cool. Ready to roll. I was born ready. So one. Oh, look at that. Well, the situation has just yeah, changed a tiny bit. What can we do? Reload turret, retrieve turret, remote control. But how can we set up a turret? Okay, we don't have turrets, which of course is not good if you're running a technician. Ready to roll. Toria moves back. And we need... Solid hit. Disable the arm, which means he cannot shoot directly at us anymore. yet take those but that's okay um. hostile damage let's show them what we can do Good technician. One. And charging two. I think we're done. Okay, we still have a mind fragger there. Only thing that we need to make sure is not. Oh, I should have overwatched with the pistol. to be caught off guard here we want it's a quick in and out receiving the 
Let's blast them. High accuracy, I like that. Scratch one. Oh, I could have used uh, the hand here. Hmm. Okay, never mind. It is what it is. Not fair. Not good. Let's show them what we can do. Proceeding. Got all of that. Ready to roll. I'll be right there. We're moving slightly back. Moving back with our sniper. Instead of doing that, moving to coordinates, I much rather will overwatch because that means we hit him without his shield. Just in case we need some more support over here, Jenna is okay. Gotta keep going. And we're dashing. Moving to coordinates. Okay. Good, we got three crates. Hostile wounded, but active. Better than you would expect. All we need to do now is get out of here without being completely destroyed. Sending a chance against uh, these, Down not with open. our troops. All right, so burning war cry. Uh, that way. I'm gonna try dashing. That way, these guys will not have a great action. Can't fully get out, but almost, which is okay. Shot. Cool. He's done. Can't do anything for one other than healing. Let's do this. So we're evacuating. Victoria moves up. Does not evacuate yet. Not going well. That is disheartening. Trivial shots. Mm. 
I was born ready. Advancing. So we can evacuate. That's a tough position to be in. We can't stay here either. Could run over here. That would be a bit too close for comfort. Could equally move to here, which is relatively safe. This guy can't immediately reach us. We can sprint out next turn. Hope I can find cover. Steady. Okay. Very good. Next turn, we need to sprint out. One hit. All right, so far so good. The pistol is inaccurate. Let's hope it stays that way. As long as the legs are not shot, we should be fine. They are trying to capture us. Oh lord. You are kidding me, right? One, two, three. <sighs> this is rough. Due to the pistol shot, we lost one action and we're so close to the evac zone. Can't move there. Infuriating. Will points six, but zero left over. Could I kill one of these guys? Likely not. Even if I could, I would only get a will point back, which would let us sprint, so sort of to here. Try to do that. Try to do that. That's the only... Realistically, that's the only place that I could see uh, surviving. And even then, we will need to be lucky. I have to move. They are to a degree blocking off their own entrance, which is okay. 
Now they are faster than we are. Immune to the tentacles. Cool. We're still alive, surprisingly. Well, could have maybe stayed longer. That is very unfortunate. First kill. I think net net it was not a positive mission. Not sure. We we might just break even on the scavenging. Yeah. But now we know what it feels like when someone dies. 200 each. And really what we need is a new recruit, sniper or infiltrator. Second sniper isn't bad. to here Rup Rupert Classilet Kane uh, formerly the band now works as an analyst for New Jericho an urgent message he pleaded us to destroy the park and not let anyone know about it Mr. West does not know about my history with the band he says and I don't want him okay Uh, dismantle the park for material. I think we're going to share it because I want better relationships with New Jericho. They were okay, but could have been even better. trade because everything's empty at the moment but we can move here we got pr brute primes even more hit points then we got siren banshees uh, siren harbringers Uh, Panorian Citadel. And what the hell is that? 3,900 hit points. Sky Alpha 1. Apex Pandorian Creature. Specimen to believe to have strategic intelligence as well as capabilities. In Silt's Frenzy. Uh, spawns a cloud of mist around the creature, gives burst to minefraggers, mm -hmm. leaps to target location, and has 50 armor on each location. Well, ain't that a wonderful enemy? Trait 2 for 9. I don't think that it's worth that would be loss making for us good uh, we had an upgrade gain mounted uh, weapon proficiency 20% range well, I would like to have mounted weapons, but we can't even get them yet. Look, I think what we need is 
just really basic proficiencies. Shotgun and melee. Hmm. Don't need an extra class. I need turrets and mounted items. Still don't understand how we're deploying turrets. Like, which item here? Deploy spider drone. That's not a turret. I wonder. So he gets a new weapon. Fair enough. He's now capable of actually shooting. So we're fine. We're okay on that one. Why? Don't we just up the hit points to 200 that's good which means we're not going to die that easy easily text from behind gain a shock value equal to three times damage dealt i like it Few more hit points can't hurt. And the guy has a grenade. Good. Good, good, good. Now, we still have um, a new recruit here. And I need to give the new recruits names. So, this here, by the way, is a sniper, and we need a sniper outfit. Armor. Uh, where's the sniper armor? There we go. We'll get the helmets first because we really need them, and then the rest. So he currently is without armor. Not the best position to be in. Bit of hit points and extra ammunition. Good. There's nothing going for him yet. And blue hair, which is a bit of a warning sign out of my experience. Uh, let's give all of them names. Good. Here we go. There is nothing better than going through your comment section and seeing uh, all of the, your lovely comments that you guys are leaving behind. So I took a couple of the subscribers um, and made them the heroes of the squad. JP Pauly has joined us as uh, the technician. Kyle Keeneye will be one of the snipers. We got Incy Vinci uh, carrying the heavy gun. We got Anthony Silent to Bounce. Uh, who is going to be our assault? Justin Beck by Demorsley <clears throat> with uh, the good old infiltrator and Craig Double Tap Russell with another sniper. Love it. Works out well. Uh, I still have a few more names. Let me fix that. Good. I fixed also that. We got Asian Cow with us in uh, the Tiam and Tiamat. So these are the new uh, recruits that may make it into the prime team at some point uh, this is a berserker we got jim the hammer Eulet who joined us and i figured um, if anyone would be crazy enough to replace their head with kind of 
alien technology it would be connor inappropriate murphy so not a viewer but a meme character might uh, spice up that campaign now that murphy has arrived there are a couple of stories that are happening in the first base um in terms of the first group we're almost ready to mingle again and i am wondering Evening info. They got another recruit here. But we're okay. I think what we really need to do is we need to explore down here. Research is continuing. We have plenty of other stuff. Haven Info. We can repair the energy. Um, Cover it in mist. Should we really repair that? Okay, that might be stupid, but I'm trying it. Did that help us? Okay, they're just like, yeah, okay, dude, thanks, see ya. Nine four two is a good ratio for us. But I don't want to trade away all of the food. Our operatives have set down outside old prison facility. The whole place is still locked up tight, but using some of the heavy cutting equipment, our people have been able to get inside. There are hundreds of corpses in here in various states of decomposition. The smell is terrible. But what's truly horrifying is, uh, is to think that all these people were just left to die, not even giving a chance to fight for their lives. Search the prison. All right, lots of exploration happening. We straight up found material. Search the area and there is more material. Look, I mean, could now make the jump over to the other side of the planet. By the way, this, the steering is a bit wonky. Or we're just going to continue the northern, uh, along the northern cr uh, crater, Finland and Co. We got a huge inflow of materials here that's great i'm wondering what we should do with them so we got archaeology labs here we could uh, build a containment facility could build a containment facility and why not that is going to be one of our next uh, projects anyways slowly but surely we would also need to build this year out living quarters 
training facility. A bit more of those archaeology uh, items because I think that's what will give us those super good, uh, super good weapons. Like we have one as an option at the moment down here. Medoc of the Ancients. But we need that special material, so I am wondering. How much are these uh, things going to produce? So that would give us one, two, three, four laps. I think that's okay for now. We're still okay with the equipment, uh, with the resource. Don't need to spend everything at once. Research complete. Finally, we can create ammunition for the Hell Two. And that'll be a game changer because we already had really, really good options available. We had the big guns, the hell two uh, cannons. I really like them. 200 damage and shock on top. It's just one shot, but if you hit that shock, uh, shot, it's absolutely fantastic. And we'll wait for these uh, things here, the granite launchers. We're fine here. We're okay with drinks. It's more that I'm looking for a mission with them. We got fantastic equipment on all of them. Could start to upgrade one of the soldiers. Good, so back to personal. Um, little green. Still has that old gun. Now has a new one. Or here. Good. Equally has an has a gun. Uh, oh wow, he has fifty uh, points. I would like to try to combine him with a sniper. Let's see how well that is going to work out. Natalia. Oh, we can level up uh, these guys. I really haven't done that in a while. New class or uh, ready for everything and thief. I think we're going with ready for everything. Plus one speed is not bad.
Master Marksman is very good, so we're definitely going to do that. Good, back to our equipment. This here looks fine. An appropriate Murphy has the Redeemer. Yeah, we got a spare melee weapon. Asian cow is the berserker, so might as well give him a melee weapon. There you go, finally. We we're missing that. Okay, enough. Well, it's so much micromanagement with all of uh, them, but enough micromanagement for now. Let's trade uh, four for five. Sounds good. Eight for two, not so much. That's a destroyed haven. Not good. Research complete. And we got an ancient tech shotgun. 15, uh, 25, 15 piercing. Oh, wow. 15 times 25. Holy, holy smokes. It's 375 uh, points of damage plus 15 damage, uh, 15 uh, piercing. Wait, what does that thing cost us? I bet you that special resource. Okay. It's resource that I don't haven't even seen yet. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Trade. Uh, four for six. You got a deal. Search the site. And we got materials and a lot of other stuff. Research complete. Good, we have no more research in the queue. I'll take a warm egg and a poison worm autopsy. And I think we're starting with the siren autopsy because it said here complete research siren autopsy. Okay. Pandorian, uh, warning, Seven scavenging mission are more dangerous in the mist, extreme threat level. Well, that's what we came here for, extreme threat level. Uh, so we're going to do exactly that. As we're getting more materials, uh, one of the things that I'm also contemplating is we do have three bases and basically three teams currently I am wondering I mean we can build up a fourth team well, that would cover North America um, it's okay that's I, I think that's more than reasonable I am wondering um, if we need more bases currently we have three and I don't want to expand too fast it feels like we've just caught up with uh, with the con construction. 
we now have a lot of fabrication plants and a lot of medic uh, and a lot of research the research is going well the arche archaeology labs seem to be fine as uh, well we could also spend the resources in investing them into our main personal right so still there are quite a few on manticore one uh, which are not modified yet Jeranx and Grell are the only ones and the modifications are just phenomenal we can augment them So that could be an option. Uh, if we were to go with Shadow Realm, it's actually affordable. I mean, we would, with them, need the rocket boots. That is three speed, holy. Let me see, by the way. That actually would be a fantastic option here. Yeah, but I went for the clarity hat. Immunity to mind control before realizing that the berserker gets mind control that uh, that way. We can take on other augments, but we can't get the human head back yeah it's not the end of the world i mean i'm playing it for the first time so little missteps will be allowed and she's still very very fast and we have other means of getting uh getting quickly from a to b but back to the idea of going with shattered realm um, he could take those propeller legs, right? Still have has uh, the rocket leap and a pretty sizable speed. And then I'm wondering, I really like that extended shield. I really like that. You can shoot with three units and then take the shield. That is an option, just being a very, very solid carry. <clears throat> the other thing here is double the weight plus eight accuracy. Yeah, that torso here gives accuracy. That's not bad either. And we could move, fly somewhere. Um, accuracy plus 12 is nice, but we already got a, a very accurate uh, helmet on. We could go for melee weapon, proficient with melee weapons, right? This one here is almost a no-brainer for so many characters. We could, with the legs, give him a melee weapon and then he can just like jump there, boom, slash for one. Would be fast as well. Yeah, I think that's the combination which we should go i dislike a little bit how these items are being balanced or the lack thereof right because vengeance torso and uh mirage legs seem to be um oh wait uh, propeller legs and vengeance torso seem to be really really good the juggernaut torso i can see as well but this one here it double heavy lifter I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there is the perfect option for it. I really don't know. Landing shop absorption is okay. We, we had that whole thing. Um, but to be honest...
Drinks. Oh, we did not upgrade uh, the legs for him. I think the Juggernaut torso suits uh, Drinks very well. And the headpiece definitely is good as well. I like it. I also don't understand why you can't just take all three. Um, that looks a bit forced in decision making for me, but okay, whatever. Um, whatever. So I think for, I, I would like to try Propeller Legs and Vengeance Torso. That together could come out nicely. We can even purchase it, but I want to wait until after the next mission, but that would be uh, something I'd like to spend points in. And then we do have uh, melee brawler plus 50% uh, melee attacks. That's great. And if we give him uh, a hammer and just let him fly somewhere and then hammer the target down, that's a pretty uh, a pretty convincing way of starting an encounter. Just go there, <laughs> slap it, and the guy falls down. Uh, also, it would give him or retain his rather sizable armor, so that's good as well. Yeah, I mean, look, it's all good. We're on the right track. Just need a little bit upgrades here and there. These guys are okay for now. I wonder, Euler could use a better helmet. That's plus 10 accuracy. Damn, it really does make a large difference. The helmet really makes a large uh, difference, just more accuracy overall. And accuracy for long range distance since the maps that are so open always seems to be key. Good, so next one <clears throat> for implementation would be Shattered Realm. I think we can agree on that one. Um, Ian, who has Brawler as well, could definitely benefit from the same adjustments. So maybe if we have enough uh, getting Shattered Realm and Ian ready would be helpful. And then we do have a strong team. Very strong team, actually. It just needs more healing with a technician and some mind control. But we're going to see about that the next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I ranted on long enough. See you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.